Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. This was suggested by a commenter. This is, he said, Elon Musk versus somebody at some point, and I said, why not Mr. Beast? And he said, yes. <coughs> so, let's get on with this. Now, this is a Democrat versus Republican, as you can see here. Well, unlike you see here, they're both independents. Howard Schultz, eat your heart out. <laughs> but, this is just a joke thing. Anyway, but, I'll do a realistic scenario, if y'all want. Uh, 40. 40 likes. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get to that. Oh, gosh. So, for the vice presidents, I have chose PewDiePie for Mr. Beast and Bill Gates for Elon Musk. Couldn't really think of anybody else. But, let's fill in the map. Mr. Beast, I could see winning the state of Washington just because of his influence within the state, his charitable reasons within his home state of North Carolina. I'm sure it will go way overhead to Washington, as well as Oregon. Oregon as well. These two states would work great for Mr. Beast due to him being so charitable. California, the tech, the California, there is a ton of rich people in California. Elon Musk being rich, being the rich people, the technology in California, obviously going to Elon Musk, as well as Nevada. This uh, Las Vegas is going to be the biggest uh, turnover for Elon Musk. Uh, but Alaska and Hawaii, actually, I think Hawaii will go to Elon Musk because of his ethnicity. Um, the minority, I mean, <laughs> my bad. Alaska, again, the charitability. Elon Musk could win, the, is going to win the state of Arizona because Elon Musk has cars and Arizona people like cars. <laughs> uh, Utah going to Mr. Beast. The Mormons love people who like to help others, and Mr. Beast is that guy. And as well, Montana, we might as well give it to Mr. Beast as well, as well as Idaho and Wyoming. These the royal ro is a rural rural can't pronounce it why. Uh, Elon Musk, uh, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure he supports a uh, decriminalization of marijuana, so he automatically wins Colorado, as well as New Mexico. Same reason for uh, Hawaii. He's got that minority, and the minorities in uh wait is I don't know, but the minorities in New Mexico is gonna help him surge up to win the state. Uh, Texas, I could see Elon Musk win in that state as well. Uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, all of Nebraska actually could go to Mr. Beast. So South Dakota and North Dakota. I've split the map so far. What the hell? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, speak. Uh, North Carolina is going to Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah. As well as South Carolina. These uh, these uh, West. Uh, eastern, these southeastern states are gonna go to Mr. Beast as well as Georgia. I can actually see again the tech industry and the fellow upperclassmen are gonna vote for Elon Musk. Uh, Mr. Beast could is going to uh, not not Elon Musk. Mr. Beast is gonna win the state of Alabama. That southern appeal, that southern white collar appeal, is going to help him win these southern states as well as Mississippi and Louisiana. Ha! The map is it split now. <laughs> Arkansas, I could see it going to Mr. Beast as well. Again, his favorability among a lot of people is really high, unlike other YouTubers. Uh, PewDiePie might take away some of the black votes in these states since he has been perceived as a racist. Now, just because of that, he's not going to win New Jersey because people could uh, pull him out as a anti as anti-Semitic due to him making those videos about death to all Jews. And New York, again, the high the high upper class in the population. And the rise of technology that Elon Musk is definitely going to promise to people is going to help him win that state. Uh, West Virginia is going to go to Mr. Beast, again, with that southern collar appeal. Speaking of white collar appeal, I believe Mr. Beast is going to appeal to the white working class and the Rust Belt, all these Rust Belt states here. It's, I don't think Minnesota's part of the Rust Belt, but Illinois is. I could see him winning the entirety of the Rust Belt, yeah, just because of that white, that white collar appeal he would have to the white working class voters. And of course, that the Rust Belt aren't too keen on that rich billionaire thing, as that's why I put Illinois as a B, as a B state. Uh, Tennessee, again, I could see it going to Mr. Beast and Kentucky, the, sub, the Southern White Collar Appeal. I'm calling everything Southern White Collar Appeal, excuse me. <laughs> Missouri, I could see it going to Mr. Beast as well. The 268 electoral votes. Minnesota, I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way. 
I'm saying this because this is a joke video, and I'm going to say this as a joke. Minnesota likes to vote for weird people, so they're going to vote for Mr. Beast because he's weird. Just like, oh, I think all YouTubers are weird in their own right. I don't think they're going to vote for someone like Elon Musk who has to stay professional. Mr. Beast doesn't really have to. Uh, Mr. Beast is going to win Indiana. Mr. Beast is very open about uh, his... God, what's it called? He is okay with the gay, is what I'm trying to say. And the... The South Bend, the LGBT population, not just South Bend, the entirety of Indiana is going to pull after Mr. Beast. Ah! <laughs> uh, DC, I could see pulling for Elon Musk. He's, I think he's more liberal of the two. Maryland, uh, that is going to go to Mr. Beast. Delaware as well. Upward to these New England states. Uh, Mr. Beast is probably going to be that guy who is probably like, oh, I'll do this. We need to build homeless shelters, etc., etc. Which would pull him for Vermont, Maine at large, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Conne uh, not Connecticut. Uh, I could see him. Win I could see Elon Musk winning Connecticut. Yes, Elon Musk, Connecticut. Why? Because again, the upper class. <laughs> Rhode Island as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brian Griffin's gonna pull out for Elon Musk. This is uh this is during the season where this is when the episode where Brian's a Republican. So this is when this election takes place. It's the exact same time Brian's a Republican for like two, three days in Family Guy World. This is when this election takes place. So he's gonna pull out for Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, Maine's first district I could see going to Mr. Beast. Uh, Mr. Beast I don't think he applies to himself with any political agenda. So that's going to help him out, edge out in the state. As, well, I think Elon Musk could win the second district of Maine. He, he I might... Screw it. <laughs> this is the final map. 323 electoral votes, it's 215. That's a lot of blue. <laughs> now, let's be honest, guys. The reason why Elon Musk has so many electoral votes is because of states like California, Texas, Florida. This is the real talk, actually, in New York. New York. Uh, sorry, my southern accent's coming out. Oof. <laughs> but, uh, again, this is really fun. <laughs> I love screwing around with, like, the electoral map, especially with candidates like Mr. Beast and Elon Musk. That was a great suggestion, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh, I can't wait to hit a thousand subs and start... hit a thousand subs and start doing the community thing. Like, what joke, uh, prediction video do you want me to do? And I'll just have a bunch of ridiculous things down. <laughs> But this is the Catech one saying peace and thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, press like. I have a thing for all my uh, election predictions. If I hit 30 uh, likes, I mean, it's going to like up when I get more subscribers, of course. But now that I have less than like 250, it's like 30 likes right now. So once it hits 30, I will feel like I'm obligated to do an election night. So this is the Catech one saying.